What is up Nephilim? This is the Chig coming at you with another Diablo 4 build guide. Today I'm going to be talking about the build I'm going to use to level my rogue. As always, my builds are hardly ever meta unless it's something I'm uh, putting together for meta builds. This is just for funsies. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm only going to use ranged weapons and I'm going to use my melee weapons to put my imbues on so I never have to replace them. Before we get started, go and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget we're having a giveaway as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers. That's coming up pretty quick. So make sure you like and comment on any of the Diablo videos to be entered into that. All right, so the first thing we're going to grab is Heart Seeker. Fire an arrow that seeks an enemy, dealing 22% weapon damage and increasing your critical strike chance against them by 3% for 4 seconds. I like this because you can just shoot in a direction and it's going to hit an enemy. When it critically strikes, gain extra attack speed, double this amount if they're vulnerable. Hey, we like that. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to grab Barrage. Unleash a Barrage of 5 arrows that expands outward, each dealing weapon damage. Has a 20% chance of ricocheting up an enemy off of one time. Deals 40% of the base arrows damage. AoE. We like AoE, right? And then we will get the ricochet chance is increased to 100% for arrows that damage vulnerable enemies. Ooh. Then every third cast Barrage makes enemies vulnerable. What? So we're going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to go back up here. And we are going to grab the Heart Seeker talent that lets it bounce. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab Caltrip. Sleep backwards. Get out of the way. Um, slow dam uh, Deal damage and slow enemies. So we like that. And then we're going to make it where anything hit by your Caltrips takes increased damage. And then you can do either one of these. I'm going to go with the slow, damage, uh, the slow here because now deals cold damage and chills enemies. And then I am going to go back up here and which one of these was it that I liked? I don't recall. Yeah, that one. Stutter step. Critically striking an enemy gives you increased movement speed. And then I love poison traps. Place a trap that deals big weapon damage over nine seconds. You can have four armed traps at once. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to grab the one that knocks down enemies when it activates. And then either one of these is good if you're going to get imbuement skills. Uh, so I would get actually just the imbuement skill. It's fine. Um, and then go back up here and you can kind of put in where you want. I would just put a couple more points into barrage to make it where you could go back down. And then here what we want to do is we want to get shadow imbuement which is going to imbue your weapons, festering shadows, make them deal damage over six seconds. They explode on death, dealing damage to all enemies. If it explodes before they die, it deals damage to only that enemy. And then you get increased critical strike damage. And by damage, I mean chance, because I can't read. And then the explosion makes them vulnerable for two seconds. And then you want to get the shadow crash to get up here to consuming shadows that gives you energy back whenever you kill an enemy with shadow damage so just getting energy back um and then down here i like rain of arrows just because we're doing this full build like this so go ahead and get rain of arrows arrows rain down over a large area twice dealing 100 percent damage with each wave so 200 percent weapon damage which is awesome and then imbuement skills by rain of arrows have 20 percent increased potency so if you Shadow Imbue and then Rain of Arrows, hey, and then Supreme Rain of Arrows knocks down enemies for three seconds. Okay, so here you got a choice. You can kind of do whatever you want at this point. I like getting the increased energy regeneration while moving and then getting the extra energy. Um, you have more movement speed at high energy and more attack speed at low energy, right? So I like getting those. You can fill that up. And then get more energy back when you use your ultimate skill. So wait till you're out of energy and then rain of arrows. And then I like getting precision out of these. So any of these, obviously, you want to use your play style. But out of all these, I like precision. Your marksman skills grant you precision. You gain 4% four, uh, 4 increased critical strike damage per stack up to 20%. And then when you're at maximum percentage, your next marksman skill is guaranteed to critical strike and deals increased critical strike damage. Okay. So you grab that, and now you can just go back and fill in everything. This is pretty much like the cool, we've got everything we need. Now let's just go back and fill stuff in. Get back extra energy when you use your abilities. After moving 15 meters, your next attack deals increased damage. So, you know, you're kiting. I would go up here and fill in the rest of Shadow Crash. 
you know, start filling in your abilities, right? So go up here to barrage, hit that five out of five, go down here. I mean, pick whatever you want, right? I would 100% fill up in shadow imbuement. I think poison traps is going to be cool. And you got 10 more points to play with, right? So let's see. Deal extra damage to healthy enemies. Deal extra damage to vulnerable enemies. That seems like a no-brainer. Okay. Um, at some point, if you ever want to get concealment, uh, get that because it makes you unstoppable and lets you run out of stuff. But I'm kind of looking at this like, oh, hey, we're just going to do what we need to do and get out of dodge. You can 100% pick this up on your way down. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to make you one level behind getting anywhere else. Or you can get that instead of poison traps. I just happen to think poison traps is cool. And then I'm going to put three points in weapon mastery. And then maybe just who cares? Just put the last point wherever you want. Um, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Do what you want. These are the skills I want to use because I think they're cool. Right? You might think these are cool. You might not think these are cool. I'm going to play this as a full ranged character with traps. I think that's a neat thing. You're laying down traps and you're shooting your bow. I think that's going to be fun. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, hit that like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. I don't care. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what you want to see me do next. Either way, I'm going to put this up and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I think this is going to be a fun build. I could be wrong, but let's see. It's going to be great. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Big hype!